A student is now behind bars tonight accused of bringing a loaded gun to class. It was found in a backpack at Fairfield High School. Good evening. I'm Chris Thomas. I'm Laura Painter. Tonight we are speaking one on one with the school's principal who tells us that student turned himself in. We're also hearing from parents who tell our Devin Truby they were terrified when they found out about this. Devin, I can only imagine. Yeah, that's right, Laura, and it all started when a phone was reported missing and bags were being searched when a student asked to speak with a staff member in the hallway. He opened his backpack and this loaded gun was inside. I was very scared, very, very scared. That was the initial reaction LaVica Williams had to opening a notification from Fairfield High School that this loaded gun with an extended magazine had been found on campus where her twins go to school. Williams says she appreciates the school being transparent and telling parents right away. Last month or something, I heard something about a knife on campus, if I'm not mistaken, so it's getting a little scary. Then she found herself making a purchase. A bulletproof vest, but it's in the backpack. Definitely not a school supply. I'm sure you thought you'd be buying. No, absolutely not, but it's worth it. Principal Rebecca Campion says all the school resource officers responded to the campus when the gun was found. Teachers were busy looking in backpacks for a missing cell phone. That's when a student went up to a staff member he trusted and showed her the gun, turning himself and the weapon over. The security team was notified and the SRO from Fairfield Police Department took the gun and extended magazine. We pride ourselves on the relationship we have with them. It's difficult, the decision that was made today, but to know that we, our kids, have relationships with our staff that allow them to trust us and do the right thing. The school plans to have conversations in the classroom on Thursday and make services available to help kids feel safe again. An important note, homecoming is this weekend, and the principal says the game and the dance will continue as planned. They say they will also have more security on campus ahead of this big weekend. My goodness, still more questions than answers. But Devin, where is that student now? What happened to the student after he turned himself in? Yeah, he was arrested, taken into custody. We reached out to Solano County Juvenile Hall Detention Facility on the multiple weapons charges that he's accused of. We haven't heard back on what the exact charges are that he will be facing. Mm -hmm. We know that you'll be tracking it, but my gosh, scary moments for the school, the students and parents. Thankfully, no one was hurt. Yes. Devin Truby, thank you.